taking tunes onto the road. Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing here with this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Options, how can you get sound onto your motorcycle? Let's take a look. Here on the table in front of me, I've got a plethora of audio accessories from the big, bad, brand new Airmaster fairing from Kuryakin. This thing is badass. You can get the Kuryakin stereo or you can just get the insert that will allow you to put any stereo that you want. These speakers were built especially for motorcycles, so they're vibration free. It's meant to fit all metric cruisers. Currently it only has mounts for the VTX, but here in the near future this fairing will fit every metric cruiser out there. If you don't want to turn your bike into a fairing bike, speakers are probably your best option. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the speakers. There's a lot of them out there, so I'd like to dispel some of the myths or some of the confusion. On the table here in front of me, there are several different speakers. What makes them different? That is the question. Rumble Road's been in the market for a really long time with their speakers. They're one of the first that I knew of that made motorcycle-specific speakers for the handlebars or crash guards of your motorcycle. They've got two options, the limited version and the premium version. What's the difference? Quite simply, amplifiers. The limited speaker is meant to connect to a stereo system, something that already has amplification. So the limited speaker, if you do not have an amplifier, will not work for your application. The premium model looks identical to the limited version, with the exception that inside this housing there is a 50 watt amplifier in each speaker. So premium amplified, limited not. The next really sophisticated motorcycle specific speaker to the market was Cycle Sounds. This here is the speaker housing that launched Cycle Sounds into the motorcycle music market. It uses a large silver bullet from Kuryakin. It's really small, sleek, and produces some great sound. What they did to get it so small was they include an external amplifier. So you got a 50 watt amp that can bolt to just about anywhere on your motorcycle, which makes this unit look really great up on the handlebars. Just recently to the market, Cycle Sounds went one step further. They launched their premium sound unit. Check this out. As you can see, these speakers are slightly larger than their original version, but they're said to put out much greater quality sound. I've yet to hear them on the road, but I look forward to seeing a bike with these on them this summer. And now let's step over to one of my favorite pieces. This year, Kuryakin kind of broke the mold a little bit, went ahead and created their Sound of Chrome speaker. Check this puppy out. This is just about the same size as the premium sound from Cycle Sounds. What makes this speaker different? Two things. Number one, the amplifier is internal. Number two, You've got volume control on the outside of the housing. While still on the topic of motorcycle speakers or dash mounted speakers, take a look at this unit. Honda has recently released this sound bar. It attaches to your riser bolts, so it kind of sits right in front of you. And then this volume control goes up on the handlebars. I've yet to see this one on a motorcycle, but it's kind of a neat concept. But what if you've got multiple bikes? What if you don't want to have your audio system tied to a single motorcycle? The best way to get around that is some sort of internal helmet speaker system. A unit I've been using for a while is the Camos BTS 300. I've been running this unit for just about a year now. It's got dual stereo speakers. It allows me to talk on a cell phone. It allows me to talk bike to bike. And it allows me to listen to my radio. The XBI2 from Chatterbox is another great unit on the market. So the Chatterbox or the Camos units are the two that I would suggest if you're looking to put sound and cell phone into your helmet. Thus far we talked about several options that are quite expensive. Two, three, four, five hundred bucks. What if you live in a high crime area? What if you plan on parking your bike somewhere that may not be the safest? We now have the Cranker bag. Check this out. I've got several buddies who live up in San Francisco and this is a bag that they use on a daily basis. MP3 or whatever your music source is goes right in here. There's a cable that goes down into this bag where the speaker's housed, plugs right into the audio out, and this speaker is what they listen to as they ride down the road. The cranker. It offers you music and storage all at the same time. Another question we get on a daily basis is how do I get my music source mounted to the front of my motorcycle? Kuryakin has the universal handlebar mount here, attaches to the handlebar, has a uh, jam that on the back that allows you to spin this around just about any way you like to put it. As you can see, there are a multitude of options as far as mounting. Cycle Sounds has probably one of the most simple units on the market. Simply attaches to any bolt already existing on your motorcycle. And whatever music device you're using will just simply sit right on top of this plate with a little bit of Velcro on the back for a little bit of added protection. Formotion's been in the market for several years with a unit they call the Clip It. Anything that has a cell phone type clip on the back of it will slide into the Clip It. 
The clip is attached by a one inch handlebar clamp. Super simple to install, can be mounted just about anywhere. The next piece I'd like to talk about is a piece from Leader Accessories called the E Caddy. A little difficult to see from where you're at, but this male end has several notched points on it. So it doesn't matter what angle your handlebar is at, you can find a position that the E Caddy can slide into that allows you to have your mounting point vertical. You can see there are several options to be able to get you to mount your music source up on the handlebars. That is easy. The tough part is deciding what type of music delivery source you would like. Whether you want to go the full fairing option, in helmet speakers, or the traditional motorcycle handlebar mount or crash guard mount speakers. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.